just mark it. So it's just like a famous, um, you can buy like trinkets and stuff if you believe in the, <laughs> the magical aspect of it. So, all right, we got to check it out. Come follow me. Hey guys, so this is my travel buddy here in Bolivia, Hi. Melinda. Hi, Melinda. <laughs> so I am in between of choosing which one of um, cocoa tea that I'm buying and bringing it home. Um, so maybe I'm going to get the bold one because I need the strong kind. Okay. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Maybe I got two. So we'll see. Not different. I was like, Coca tea here. They're legal guys. It's not the drugs one. <laughs> okay. So one box costs about 35 Bolivian pesos. Mm -hmm. So not bad. And you can buy their raw leaves for 45. Coming first. This is we have the offerings that we have to the Mother Earth. The Mother Earth is the most important goddess that we have in Bolivia. If do you want to build your home, you need a special authorization. That authorization is the Mother Earth. We have to open the earth and we have to give the offering the fetus lamas. Mm. Together with all this that we have the representation, what would, would you wish in your life? Car? a uh, car house good family and couple and excellent and good uh, bolivian husband mm -hmm. and all that you have to put it inside to the earth the and you have to cover and you can do, 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 build your home build your house but if you have the a lot llama that you can see here is depend of the size of your house okay. small middle or big house mm -hmm. So, uh, Lapas have about 10 cable cars, and it costs $300 million to build all this. But the entrance fee is only 3 Bolivian pesos. So, we're going to go check out, um, ride the cable cars, and we'll show you the picture from above. All right, come with me. It's like the subway. It's the subway. It's a, we have the cable car, the color uh, red, yellow, and blue. Green. Blue, orange, uh, and that is like the subway. Because why they, the people decide to build those cable cars? Because this all this uh, field it is clay, and all this clay is impossible to build something here. Because if we are beginning to dig, all the houses they fell down. By that reason, they prefer to build those cable cars. I like the subway train. Right. It's nice and very clean. Well, right now, we just got here to the Moon Valley. So I was told that Neil Armstrong, have, uh, he had been here before. And then he said that the, um, the whole location here is similar to the moon. So that's why they call it the Moon Valley here. And then apparently, he said that um, you can see the Uni Salt Flats up from space so that's a pretty cool fact about this place and all right come follow me just gonna go explore what's in here hey guys so right now i'm just gonna go track here around the valley and they do have guardrail for you to help climbing up the steep valleys but over there not that steep but if you look at the um the texture of the rocks it's pretty cool Oh my god, guys, I'm so struggling with the altitude. I keep on getting this headache nonstop. So, lucky for us, so there are um, food court downstairs, um, right below our hotel. So, we've seen all this um, pollo copacabanas, like all over the um, La Paz. So, I guess it's their first on the KFC here. So, I'm just gonna. So, we got some, and we're just gonna try it. All right. Hi guys, so right now we are at the Gusu restaurant here in La Paz, Bolivia. It's in the, the South Zone. So our first course is going to be this like cone with um, egg in it. So it's going to be eaten in one bite. So this restaurant uh, showcased the Bolivian national food. So we're doing the tasting. So it's going to take about an hour. It costs about $60 US dollars. So yeah, we're so excited to try um, the food here. Bon appetit! Thank you. 
pastries of Santa Cruz and you, make, you eat it with the cocoa butter. I tell you what it is, the natural color of seeds, the picking seeds, with the caramelized carrots and the tuta powder, tuta is a type potato. From a small organic garden located around uh, 20 minutes walk from where we are right now. Oh, wow. The garden is owned by a lady called Carmen who just produces vegetables for us and for herself. And then... Okay guys, so um, I just got into the town of Uyuni. Again, I go by um, the travel office where to talk about the schedule for today. So we're getting a private tour. It costs about 200 bucks because I think private tour is the best way to go, especially when you have such a short amount of time here in town. So, all right, can't wait to explore. She's still getting ready, getting up from her sleep right there. Hi. <laughs> okay, guys, so right now we are at the tour office. I'm gonna, we are here at the town of Uyuni. We're gonna go up here to the field of Kholchani, and we're gonna check out the museum, Hotel del Sal. So, it's not it's not a hotel anymore it's just a museum so back then it was a hotel made out of salt then we're gonna go check out the flamingo here in isla in Guajasi. and back to la paz tonight it's gonna be about 10 hour journey today here so yeah i'm excited hey guys so Hi, hi. That's where we at now. We're at the, the, the Tano Uni and we are eating Chinese food. Chinese food. Gotta have your some Chinese food. And, and long version. food. No. <laughs> the best. So it's, a, a it's amazing that you can meet like a lot of Chinese people in like the most remote random places in the world. Just like in a uni. Okay, we're gonna enjoy breakfast and gonna uh, follow our adventure. I'll see later you guys on. later. See ya. Yeah. Hey, also, we are just walking around Tano Uni, getting to our 4x4. That's how we're gonna explore the salt flats. Can't wait to see it soon. It was just really bad. It was so windy, even though, you know, I tried as best as I could to soft the audio. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do the voiceover. But yeah, this is the train cemetery. It's an abandoned. It used to be used for um, the gold mines to transport gold, but they no longer use it. But all right, on to the next one. Um. Hey, also right behind me is the dock the uh, rally uh, monument. So apparently they did the trek here in South America. And the entire monument is made entirely out of salt. So right now we're gonna walk towards the, uh, formerly it's a hotel made out of salt, but it's just kind of like too hard to maintain because of the rain problems. So the rain like destroy the salt. So now they're just gonna make it like a museum. Gonna check it out. So right there, that's the hotel or formerly known <laughs> as the hotel. The Salar de Uyuni. And over there, we're gonna see a bunch of flags. So they encourage you to bring your own flag and put it there. I just forgot to bring mine. Oops. Okay, guys, so this is um, formerly known as the Stalled Hotel. It's pretty comfy here. Just be ready to get dust <laughs> on your shoes and clothes. Oh, hello there. So now they just turned this place into a restaurant. Pretty cool. This is my guide, Iban, guys. So, hello, Iban. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna tell me some cool facts about the island? We are now in, in Kawasi Island. This was a place to rest. The people who live around here, not only the Incas, the Lipes culture and other cultures, travel with llamas. Llamas with salt or silver metals or other metals to cross south flat to the ocean to other side and we have a uh, long way guys <laughs> the incas or other culture put in the llamas like a shoes uh-huh and painted this area like a football american players with black 
for the reflection because they don't have a sunglasses. sunglasses. Yep. The sun is very strong here. And these cactus only live in this island and in other island who have the similar chemical compounds. Wow. Um, have a hundred of years, only ground one centimeter in a year. And we have a cactus here who have a 1,400 years surround, no? Another, like me, have like a 170... Uh, centimeter? <laughs> yeah, 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 surround, no? It depends the, the, the size. The, okay. The cactus, no? And the Incas or other cultures, rest in this place. That is all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, y'all. So right now we are in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> in the Salar de Uyuni. We're just here having a VIP lunch. With um what are we having here? Quinoa, steak, some veggies, but you know it's definitely feels like nothing behind me. It's really cool. It's so quiet and serene here. So VIP experience. Hey guys, doing just 360 of the Salar de Uyuni. Right in the middle of nowhere. Check out the dual images, guys. <laughs> Super cool reflection. <laughs> you can see there's uh, the mountains on the reflection. It's really dope. We're gonna do some cool photos now. Oh my god, guys, check this out. So this is the sunset at Salar de Uyuni. You can do a reflection of the sun and the clouds. This place is just surreal. It's like heaven. It's just breathtaking. I'm just like going in circles here. Wow, it's just wow. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe and follow me for more of my adventures. I'm sure that you guys will be excited for the next one too, like I do. Peace out.